you need to target a specific amount of money. Like you literally have to say like, I want $5,000 ready to deploy into the stock market after it crashes. So you have to put a number on it. So it could be $500, it could be $10,000. It Again, it depends on your circumstances. Now, if you have enough cash for those four things, then you can move on to step number two. And step number two, that would be looking at your liabilities. Take a look at your debts. So for example, the easiest example is, do you have credit card debts? If you have credit card debt, then you're probably being charged something crazy, like an interest rate of 20%. In this situation, you would be better off paying down your credit card debts instead of investing your money into the stock markets. If you pay down your credit card debt, that's basically like earning a 20% rate of return on your money because you're gonna be paying less interest. A 20% rate of return, that's gonna be very difficult to beat in the stock markets.